played around with it for a little while, and there's three valid syntaxes here. We can do a filter of the array of objects uh, by a parameter in the tick marks and the value. So if the value of spawning is null, that would return true. So control front slash does uh, commenting out the entire line. And you can also highlight multiple lines and do control front slash. So, so let's save that guy. And we're going to filter spawns for spawning and make sure the value is null as per the documentation. And the value of second should be the spawn. And it is. And if we want to do a, a test of this, we can see if the value was true. And it won't be true. So second is now blank. So there's the first example. Uh, the second example is um, this syntax where we have a structure. We do equals and then um, a forward arrow. And then structure.spawning equals, equals null. So let's give that one a try. And the second is returning um, that the spawning is null and leaving that in the element. If we evaluate this for true, uh, it will remove second from the list. Okay, so that's a second syntax we could use for filtering. Uh, third syntax is the function, and we pass uh, each element in this array or object, and we return it if this it returns true. So if there's no element for spawning, it will return spawn one. If there this now compares if there's actually something in spawning, it will return true. And because there's nothing currently spawning, it returns false. So that is three different ways to uh, pass values to the Lodash, Lodash uh, filter. And if you want to do some more research on your own, you can go to the description down below and click on Lodash and search for the filter object and see some more examples and read up more about the documentation. And I hope that helps and uh, we'll be using this again in the future in our videos. There's different um, reasons to do each one of these syntaxes and we'll probably use them all at some point.